The country is set for another, well, entirely sure it's a sunny week. We've got the hottest day of the week so far. It looks like it could be rainy by the weekend. rainier tomorrow, but sun, hopefully sun, sun, better sun. by the weekend. Anyway, that's the weather. Goodbye. Uh, John <laughs> Tarode is here now to give us a taste of the summer. Uh, what you got for us, John? Well, we're going to make some chicken skewers, we're going to make a tomato and watercress salad, a really easy salad dressing, and um, we're going to serve the whole lot with some halloumi and a yoghurt dip with your own seasonings in it, so it's totally up to you. But what we're going to do first, both of you, is you've got some chicken skewers which have been marinated. We need to get those on because it's going to take about five minutes to cook, and they really only take five minutes. So you've got a grill plate, it's quite hot. I've got my chicken skewers, yep. and you're going to do the same. So they I'm should sizzling. sizzle a bit. I am sizzling here. Good. Nice sizzle, that's what you need. That sizzle means they're cooking nice and fast. Give them a little bit of space between each one. And then on the side there, whilst they cook, you've got some halloumi. We're gonna put the halloumi onto the grill at the same time. So just no a couple oil. of pieces of halloumi. No oil on the halloumi? No oil with the halloumi, you no, oil, because it's, halloumi. it's I cheese. I don't know, it's just sometimes when I do it on the barbecue, it sticks. And you put oil on it, really? Well, otherwise it sticks, doesn't it? It won't stick because the thing is, Holly, if you, if it's still sticking, it means it's not cooked and it's not ready to come away. So um, the thing with halloumi is, if it comes away from the, the, the barbecue, it means it's ready to go. So let your chicken skewers now just cook away nicely because we're going to make a little salad. Right. So you've got some tomatoes. Oh. And I'm going to show you a trick of doing tomatoes so they taste like summer. Slice your tomatoes and put them on a plate. Slice them, chop them, cut them in wedges, whatever you want to do, and just put them onto a plate. And then we're going to make them really taste like you're on holidays. There's a special little trick. So well, did you marinate it? Like whilst, whilst we're doing this, John. John, whilst we're doing this, what did you marinate the chicken in? So the chicken was marinated in a mixture of oregano, lashings of garlic, oil, a little bit of lemon juice and lemon rind. All the recipes are on the app um, for the quantities, but a really simple marinade, but it smells like you're on holidays. You want that lemon and garlic and olive oil smell. Right. So put your tomatoes on your plate. And when your tomatoes are on your plate, here's the trick. So when you're on holidays in Portugal, you know your tomato salad tastes like no other salad anywhere. Like yep. they've been grown. Here is how it works. What you do is you take your tomatoes and you season with salt and vinegar only. Oh. A little bit of salt. Balsamic. And then just a little tiny capful of vinegar. Like balsamic vinegar or any vinegar? Uh, I prefer just normal white vinegar or yellow vinegar. They're looking very pretty, these tomatoes, aren't they? Very pretty. Right, so what did you say? Salt, salt over vinegar. the top and a bit of vinegar. Salt and a little bit of vinegar. That's it. Oh, it's so nice. So they're looking really vinegar. delicious, aren't they? That's a good-looking salad. Now, what should be happening is your skewers should not sizzle quite as much, and it means they're time for them to turn over. Just turn them over, and they should have a lovely colour to them. Ooh. They do. And the and key here... And they cook here. really Ooh. quickly, because they're just chicken breasts. Yeah. And then your halloumi... See if it, it moves. If it doesn't move, that's fine. Oh, mine does. Does your loomy move, Holly? Yeah, it's moved. Well, yeah. Yeah, it does, actually. If I really shove it. There you go. Well, <laughs> let's cook a bit more if it doesn't. And you go like that. So now yeah. we've got our tomato salad on the way. Our chicken skewers are cooking. One of the things we all struggle with is a decent salad dressing. So I'm going to show you the simplest way. Next to you, you will have the ingredients, for me, the best salad dressing ever. And all it is, is a glass jar, some mustard, olive oil, some veg oil, and some vinegar and salt and pepper. And you're going to take the glass jar, and you're going to put in a massive spoonful of mustard into the glass jar. A massive spoonful, like massive, massive, massive. Why don't we just put two in? I put two in. And, yeah. Okay, put two in, good. And then you're going to put a massive glug of vinegar, salt and pepper into your jar, and then what your quantities wise, what you really want is you want about oil? three times oil to one part vinegar. 
it's all half a, olive oil, oil, half veg oil. Olive same oil to give flavour, veg oil so it's not oil. too strong. What? Julia's there instructing us here as well. You can use Shout the same oil loud, if you want, Julie, veg, what you oil, olive oil, up to you. Oh, so add the olive oil. There you go, look at you, Holly. Right, OK, we're on there. And then take your jar and shake it like mad. And what you have, here you go. Holly's like she's making a margarita. That's what I'm hearing in my head. Tequila. <laughs> Always. <laughs> right, got now that. Now turn your skewers over one more time. Oh, really? I think mine are done. Yeah, then the, what happens is all the, all the moisture then goes back into those bits of chicken. You see, it's now really lovely and crisp, crisp and grilled. They look great. Yeah. Take your tomato salad. Put a handful of watercress on top of your tomatoes. Am I meant to put my dressing on my watercress? N no, no, not at all. No. Leave your, your watercress alone at the moment. Just put that on top. Yeah. And then once you put it on top, then you can put a little bit of dressing over it. Just the watercress, not the because tomatoes? You, just the on the watercress. Because that your tomatoes so are dressed with your vinegar and salt already. So you don't need to worry about it. We've got a, a, bit, a minute for the yogurt. A minute for the yogurt, John. A minute for the yogurt. There's a okay. minute for the yoghurt, so you've got John. Some yogurt, You're fine, John. I'm, I'm doing it all. I'm putting it all in now, John. Everything I've got in front of me. Anything you like. Yogurt, cumin, mint, chilli, lemon juice, anything you want. Oh, God. Just make a lovely dressing. There we go. Mint, coriander, a little bit of chilli, and mix it all together. Where do I put the yoghurt, John? You have got yourself, in six minutes, your skewers, John, where which are beautifully yogurt? cooked. Huh? Where do I put the yoghurt, John? It's wherever different. you like, Philip. You put it on your on your hands, on your feet. <laughs> you put it wherever do you want to put, put it. Do we just put the skewers totally on the you. chicken on the thing? I have to say, Ske I think that looks on a plate. incredible. And then you put some yoghurt dressing across the top. On the top. Maybe some there more herbs. There we are. Don't that goes all on sound there. so surprised that it looks your nice. Your tomato salad, which is done. Bit of dressing. And I lick my fingers. I don't know where to begin. Here I go. There you go. Going in, John. Chicken skewers, tomato watercress salad, the taste of summer. Oh. You're back on holidays. Philip, look at that artistry. Look at you. <sighs> That's beautiful. Wow. Beautiful. Thank you, John. That's nearly really as good as your salt and pepper prawns last night. Oh, yeah, they were nice. For they all the recipe nice. details, take a look at the website.